L let me turn to the t tax bill, uh, Congressman, because House and Senate Republicans are working to revolve, resolve differences in their tax bills, uh, trying to get this deal done by Christmas. Where do st things stand in the House right now? What can you tell us uh, about the differences right now in these last few sticking points? Well, I think the one of the things there, Maria, that just it was just said so well right there is that the House and the Senate working together to work out differences. This is so unlike what's been going on in Washington D.C. And I think not only the House leadership and Senate leadership, but the leadership of President Donald Trump actually being involved in this and wanting to see this done, I think, has made a difference. Our previous administration, they could care less what went on on Capitol Hill. He just wanted to do it all himself. But President Trump has been actively involved. So I think what you said there about us actually working that out is something that does not need to be lost on the American. People, this is Washington working. What I see has got to happen is we've got to work out some differences, especially in the salt issue. We've got to work out the differences that we have seen uh, in, in the the rates that uh, have come up in the the differences in pass throughs and the differences in the individual rates and how we're going to tie those all together. I think those are the kind of things that we're working on now. And as one of my colleagues said uh, just recently, this is the bill that we're going to get that is much better than where we're at now. And then as we go into the next year, we'll continue to work on making sure that we have the most pro business, pro individual. Uh, tax reform that we can actually have because we've always had a independent in, energy independence. We've now had the best workers. We've got yeah. the best ideas. We've had the worst tax code. This is getting us better. That's what I'm looking forward Congressman, to. Congressman, I understand that, but does the right hand know what the left hand is doing? Because uh, there are stories in the journal this morning. For example, the Senate bill's marginal tax rate could top 100 <laughs> percent for some people. I saw people. that as well. Okay, so Jagan mentioned that if you pay, uh, if you make a hundred dollars, you're going to have to pay 108 dollars. I mean, how ridiculous! is that. Then there's this other story that the Senate bill would require investors unloading partial stakes in a company to sell the older shares first so that yes. you get a bigger tax bill. A rule in the Senate bill could have a big inf impact on investors. It would require them to sell on a first in first out basis, meaning if they sell partial stakes in a company that, that would have they would have to unload their older shares first, making a, a higher tax bill. Does the Senate understand the impact of some of these proposals? Well, I think so don't the issue is. Well, I, I'm beginning to believe I don't think they do either. And I've had a lot of interest uh, from my district. I have a, a gentleman, in, uh, Mr. Cleveland, in my district who has talked about this issue a great deal, especially the in and out. I think what we've seen here is that in the rush, this goes back to a bigger picture than just tax. And we need to, to take a brief moment here and think about this. It is how we're putting this together under reconciliation. Because of the rules of the Senate and the way we're having to go about this, the Senate was up until the last minute basically taking requests on saying, here's how you can get my vote. Here's what I think from a Republican standpoint, Tax reform was something that we could all say needs to be done. And what happened is they were trying to piece together a bill at the end. They were trying to find pay fors in different ways. We see some of this coming up. I saw the same article this morning in the Wall Street Journal. We've talked about this in and out. I think these are the kind of things that I trust Kevin Brady for the House Ways and Means Chairman, who is the chairman of this conference committee, to look at these things and say, guys, we need to take a look at this. We need to get this right so that the uh, package that we present to the American people actually does what we want it to do, and that's cut the, the taxes and stimulate business and get growth to where we're acceptable at three and four percent instead of the anemic yeah. one to eight one to two as we've always had you're right but the truth is is even on the house side you guys are so afraid of of allowing the highest earners to get any tax relief you're you're jumping through hoops to try to uh, avoid anybody who's in the millionaire range to to get any tax break why the top 10 percent of earners pay 71 percent of the tax don't you want to cut taxes on the people who actually pay taxes i mean let's not forget this border adjustment tax that that that, that was the genius idea coming out of the house and then you've got the bubble rate another genius idea 45.6 percent don't you think that if you were to lose the majority that's going to become the, the top rate 45.6 percent it's going to be your fault not the senate well well, I think if the issues are, these are issues that we've got to say. I believe that everyone should get a tax break. I believe that we should all from, so start from the top down. So where is it then? But, so but then where is with it? Make it happen, Congressman. Well, well, that's why we're in the, the conference committee right now. I'm not afraid of it. There's many of us that are working with the administration, making sure the administration's priorities are, are part of this as well, and the things that they have talked about. I think the things that we've got to look at here, though, is as we look at these individual rights, getting our business going, looking at our pass-throughs, where the majority and the bulk of the wealth are in this country. Those are the areas that we're going to see those tax rates cuts. Those are the areas that we're going to see those jobs. 
jobs created. That's the thing that's going to get us so that we stay in a majority and we can continue to build on what we've already started. If we continue to focus on the small things, which we need to get fixed in conference, and that's what they're doing right now, then we're going to make this thing a better, this plan better. We're going to move it forward, and that's going to be better for the American people. And you're going to be able to say, look at the growth that we're seeing. Look at the stock market. Look at the home ownership. Look at the business started. Look at the jobs created. And that's where we've got to focus on. All right. We're focused on it, Congressman. We're going to be watching. <laughs> we know there will be ups and downs this week. Uh, we'll, we'll see how you fix it. Congressman, good to see you, sir. Thank you. Good to see you, too. Take Doug care. Doug Collins joining us there in Washington.